Well, that's a big development in the business world. Of course, M-Pesa has enjoyed the foothold for a number of years. Let's see how that will turn out in the coming months and days. Well, the Kenya law stipulates that 60% of local TV content must be produced in the country, a major boost for Kenya's growing film industry. However, vital support still lacks, leading to low-budget productions being aired. A young entrepreneur saw a need for locally made film equipment and made it his way of making a living, despite dropping out of primary school. Here now is this week's business adventurer with Ashley Mazuri. A contemporary Kenyan take on a decade-old Chinese cult classic. The karate movie, scripted, acted, made in Kenya, the equipment, rudimentary, the innovation, groundbreaking, the fun, elementary. So how does this and other Kenyan film products come together and what equipment do they use? Okay, fine, isn't it? We sought to answer this question and ended up in Udiru area of Nairobi with a man whose equipment has played a role in shooting Netflix series Sense 8, the Saudi soul hit Nishike, the hit series Keru, and local movies The Kidnap and Queen Bee. My name is Paul Kihuha, I'm a Protisa, I'm a Protisa, I'm a Fundi, 2002, I'm a Shule, Class 8. And uh, so ni megro tu kamse wakawaida, but mi ni fundi, a normal fundi. Mi u make to anything, kwanzi a gate, milango. Na time ni likam mi kafika ni katengeneza equipment za video. For a class A dropout, Paul is living proof that skills that even without necessary education needed is vital for succeeding. But how exactly did he get to where he is? Vile ni likuja ni kakwa na interest na chuma, si kwa na workshop. Nilikuwa natumia workshop ingine ya jama fulani huko juu. So at least ndivyo niweze kupata machines nilikuwa natumia workshop ya mtu. Time moja nilikuwa nimekaa hivi nikiwatch show. Sikumbuki ilikuwa show gani ya Kenya. And nika realize nika nika nikaona siri. Nikaona tu siri nikajua ah reason movies za majuu na zetu ziko tofauti. Ni juu ya kitu moja tu ndogo sana. Still try to complicated. 200 shillings was the amount he used to acquire scrap metal used to make his first ever tripod. After testing it out in several River Road productions for free, Paul slowly built his clientele. But that was 2013. Things have far changed. Point ili kama watu wakanza kuhaya. Nasikia mtu wana kuwafa 1,000, 2,000. Mbaka saai, mi saai miu haya adi 20k a day. Paul's approach to running a business is quite unique. Instead of constantly making products and waiting for clients, he waits for clients first. Kitambo nilikuwa, nilikuwa na shop. Nilikuwa na mahali nimeweka hizo equipment. Like anyone akitaka na kama. But nika realize si, 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 si leti solution. Having worked with big productions like Sense8 and still making film equipment to props to even makeup and sets, Paul is a jack of all trades when it comes to the film industry. However, challenges are inevitable. Here are his. I wish timing equal time times two. As in Gino, make equipment in a fail. I'm a client equipment in ending Angusha camera. So you're in a bidding, ni loss. Lights, camera, action, words commonly known to us. But behind the lucrative film industry lies innovative entrepreneurs like Paul Kihuha, making a difference with the equipment